Hello you beautiful people! In this video I'm going to show you how I clean up my Mex air fan. So let's get to it! Hello and welcome! I'm Kim and together with my dogs, Bobby and Pilou, I live in my self-built camper van and we are getting ready to travel Europe together. Come along as we say yes to new adventures! To clean out the Mex air fan you need this little tool in this size I don't really know how to pronounce it because it's an inch size, but you need this one to get the little bolt off. Here you can see the Max Air Fan from the inside. It has a bug screen as you can see here, which is being held on with these four little knobs. To take it off, you have to twist these knobs. You twist them like this. Once you've twisted all four of them like this, you can take the screen out. Here you can see the amount of dust and grease that has gathered on the blades. Now you take your hex key and carefully twist the bolt open until the blades come off. As you can see, there's also a lot of grease on the inside of the Max Air Fan. So when you get it off, be super careful that you don't lose that little screw because that's super important. If you lose that, you can put it back in. <laughs> So yeah, as you can see, it's super dirty and we're going to clean it. Some water and some dish soap will do wonders on this grease and dust. Time to get cleaning. I use my dish brush, but you could also use a gentle sponge. Just be careful that you don't scratch it so the surface remains nice and smooth. Don't forget to turn it around and clean both sides. When it's all clean, I gently rub it with my dish towel to make sure she's all dry. And now she's all shiny again! So when you clean this all the way and it's nice and clean, it's time to clean out the uh, place that it sits in because now you can easily reach it. Now I take wet wipes to clean out this inside because a lot of grease and dirt gets stuck on there too. I make sure I get in the holes. I also try and reach my arm further through and do the roof part, but this way she'll be nice and clean in the end. Okay, so we cleaned the entire part, that uh, everything I can reach, which is not all corners, but enough corners. It's time to place it back. Gently place her back. There's only one way she will fit. And then carefully tie the screw with your hex key. And now she looks all clean again. Time to get to the box screen. So when you're done cleaning everything and that's all looking shiny and sparkly, it's time to clean this one. Now I have to say mine doesn't look that dirty. They get super dirty, but I clean it every two, three days with a little wipe. But as you can see, there's still a little bit of dirt on it, a little bit of dirt on there, so I'm gonna clean it thorough now. Again, I use my dish brush with some biodegradable dish soap and I carefully clean her and rinse her off. When she's clean, I gently wipe her with my dish towel until she's dry. So now this is all shiny and sparkly. You can look all the way through, it's very clean. So now we're gonna put it back and twist the little knobs to put it in place. Gently place it back, make sure that the gaps go where the knobs are and then twist the knobs and it'll stay in place.
And this is how I clean the Max Air Fan. Look how shiny she is. This makes me so happy. Now she's all ready to keep the fan filled with fresh air again. Now the fan is all nice and clean and I like to keep it as clean as possible because I have a lot of allergies so I really need to keep this thing clean. I recommend cleaning the bug screen every couple of days. I use wet wipes, I clean the screen off so that it doesn't collect that much dirt and I clean the blades every month, two months, depends on how much I use it. It's directly above my kitchen so a lot of grease gets stuck to it so whenever I see it get dirty I just take it apart and clean it. I hope this video was useful to you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video and in the meantime don't forget to say yes to new adventures.